Ha, <laughs> this guy's toast. When it comes to secrets in Hearthstone, sometimes you can make an educated guess as to what secret it is. Playing against the Freeze Mage, it's gonna be Ice Block or Ice Barrier. Up against a Paladin in Arena, there's a good chance it's Avenge. But what if the secret came from a random source? Well, then we have to use a secret weapon. Math. In this game, my Tempo Mage opponent slammed down a Yogg-Saron and received a random Hunter Trap. In the process, Yogg also brought my health to just 2 points. No, 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 no. If this is explosive... No, 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 no... Do I risk it? Yeah, I mean... In my hands, I hold a Leroy Jenkins, two Faceless Manipulators, a Mountain Giant, and an Earthen Ring Farseer. So today, I want to pose a question to you guys. How do I maximize my odds of winning this turn? In order to not to complicate things, assume there are no cards left in my deck and that our opponent is holding a Pyroblast. Just focus purely on winning the game this turn. Is there a line of play that can guarantee playing around every single hunter trap? And if not, what strategy plays around the most traps? Pause the video and take a couple of minutes to think about it. And when you're ready, unpause. Remember, the goal is to win the game this turn. Surviving is the same as losing for the purpose of this question. So, one thing to note is that there are only 5 traps to play around. Bear, Freezing, Explosive, Snipe, and Misdirection. The other traps are irrelevant because you don't have to play around them as they have no effect on how you make your plays. So, with that being said, there are essentially 3 initial steps you can make. Your first step could be either to heal yourself, to play Leroy, or to attack first. What makes the situation unique is that you cannot test for traps without exposing yourself to another. So once you take your first action, you will be vulnerable to certain traps. There is no play that guarantees a 100% victory. So what strategy has the best odds then? Let's look at the 5 traps we have to play around. Explosive Trap If it's Explosive Trap, then you have to heal yourself with Earthen Ring Farseer, attack with Shambler, then play Leroy in that specific order. If it's Freezing or Bear Trap, you can either attack with Shambler first, then play Leroy and Faceless in that order. Or you can play Leroy, Faceless, then attack with Shambler. So there are two ways you can counter those two traps. If it's Snipe, you can attack first, Earthen Ring Farseer, then Leroy. Or you can Earthen Ring Farseer, then attack, then Leroy. Finally, we have Misdirection. Now no matter what, Misdirection will always have a chance to kill you. But how do we minimize that odd? If we attack with Shambler first, it's a 50-50. If it hits Yogg, we can Leroy Faceless for the win. If it hits us, then we're dead. What if we Leroy then Faceless? Then we have a Yogg, two Whelps, two Leroys, and a Shambler on board. The difference now is that Yogg and Shambler become safe targets for Leroy to hit since hitting them will still leave a second Leroy on board to give you lethal, which gives us 4 out of 6 chance at victory, 67%. So let's take a look at all these traps and all the ways we can play around them. If we go back to our initial 3 options and apply what we just learned, we can see that if we Earthen Ring Farseer first, we win against Snipe and Explosive, but lose against Freezing, Bear, and Misdirection. Those require 3 attacks to play around, and if you Earthen Ring Farseer, you limit yourself to 2. So, Earthen Ring Farseer first plays around 2 out of 5 traps. What about playing Leroy first? Doing so will prevent you from winning if it's Snipe or Explosive. However, you do beat Freezing and Bear, and as we calculated from Misdirection, you can have a 67% chance to beat Misdirection. So, by Leroying first, you can improve your odds up to 2.67 out of 5 traps. And finally, we have Attack First. You will lose against Explosive Trap and have a 50% chance to lose against Misdirection. 
If bear trap or freezing trap triggers, you can then Leroy Faceless for the victory. If nothing triggers, then you narrow it down to Snipe, in which case you can just play Urzen Ring Farseer and then Leroy. This line of play allows you to beat 3.5 traps out of 5. So there you have it. Attacking first is the best line of play if you want to win this turn. So, what was the trap and what did I end up doing? Let's find out. If it's explosive, I need to heal myself before I attack in. But if it's explosive, I heal myself, I'm still gonna die to damage. He drew two cards off that. Wait. Yeah, he drew two cards off that. I'll, I'll most likely die to damage anyway. If it's explosive, you win. What are you talking about? Oh, right. I have heal. Well, if it's freezing. If it's freezing, I have to... If it's freezing, then attack and then in this, I lose. Heal then Leroy? No. If it's freezing... Now you might be wondering, Toast, did you do all this calculation in your head that turn and figure out that this was the best line of play to win? Is that why you chose to attack first? And the answer is no. I kind of just went YOLO and hope for the best. Funny enough, in the end, it was a misdirection. The one trap that was going to be a toss up no matter what line of play I went with. But hey, sometimes a game of Hearthstone will come down to chance, no matter how well you play around certain things. That's gonna be it for this question. Ultimately, we can go even more in depth with this situation. In order to make things simpler, we ask the question, how do you win this turn? But we can also ask the question, what's the best play? Then we have to consider all the possible cards our opponents can draw and all the cards he has played so far, as well as all the possible cards we can draw in order to calculate whether or not just surviving this turn would be better with Earth Ring Farseer and then Faceless Manipulating our Taunt. But that's a question for another day. Thanks for watching guys, hope you had fun with this little math puzzle. Were you able to make the best line of play? Would you have played it safe with other than Farseer? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Take care. Lights out.